Hello, my name is Brian Smith and welcome to my office. You can watch this seminar either as a YouTube video or listen to it as a podcast. And if you'd like more detail, you can get a supporting article at my website, which is linked below. My seminars are about the life sciences industry, which I've worked in for over 40 years. Now I research the evolution of business models and strategy in this industry. And my aim today is to tell you something that is new and relevant and useful. If I manage to do that, then please like, subscribe and share with your colleagues. And if you want to know more about my research, then get in touch. We can have a cup of tea together, either virtually or in person. In my grandparents' days, everyone had what they called a party piece. At a family gathering, everyone would sing a song or recite a poem or do a little dance routine. Now, I'm remarkably talentless, but in a business situation, I have a little party trick that raises eyebrows. After a short conversation, I can make a guess that appears to show deep insight into the market. So let me show you how that trick works, and I'm going to begin with a biological analogue. Most species are adapted to a limited environmental range. For example, I have a friend who can tell how high up a mountain he is just by looking at the flowers. An extreme example of this idea are what are called indicator species which are species that are so well adapted to a particular environment that they are more or less diagnostic of that habitat. So in the Everglades, for example, you can tell how healthy the habitat is by the population of wood stalks. If you see a plant called the buckshorn plantain growing by the side of the road, you can know that the soil there is particularly salty. Some very geeky lichen specialists I know can look at a rock and tell you how polluted the habitat is. Now, I'm always impressed when my biologist friends do this, but of course it's not magic, it's just that they're simply reading a, the indicator species that they can see. If you're still with me, you'll probably be wondering what this has got to do with reading the market. But if you've listened to my seminars before, you'll remember that the species are directly analogous to business models. And just as there are indicator species, then there are indicator business models. So, for example, in early development stages of the biotech space, they are dominated by business models that are built around venture capital. Now, this tells me that this space is a high risk, high return area because that's the environment that venture capital business models are adapted to. Another example is in medical device business models. Some of these models rely on distributors, which others go direct to the market with very expensive teams of field specialists. Now, if I see a distributor model, I can tell that that indicates a market that is fragmented and the value typically comes from the aggregation of multiple complementary products. But if I see a direct model, that tells me that the market likes a high added value proposition. And so it's probably quite mature. There are lots of examples of indicator business models like this. And each of them gives me an opportunity to know something about the market, even if I don't know the market that well. If you don't know about indicator business models, it looks like intuition, but really it's just informed insight. This poetry goes further too. If your market is going fast, I can guess that you're about to see new investment by rivals. If you tell me that you're facing increased price competition, I can probably tell you that your customers can't differentiate well between alternatives. If you tell me that your market is plateauing, flattening out, then I can guess that your sales team are probably struggling to adapt from product selling to solution selling. All of these examples have their roots in evolutionary thinking and the indicator species idea. Let me be clear about what I don't want you to take away from the seminar. I'm not suggesting that you should rely on informed intuition instead of solid data and rigorous analysis. But I am saying that you can accelerate your organisational learning if you use indicator business models to come up with hypotheses that you then test carefully. In other words, indicator business models may not give you the answer but they guide you to where to look for the answer. You really should add this idea to your repertoire of business party tricks. Thanks for joining this seminar. If you found it worth your time, please like, subscribe and share with your colleagues. If you'd like to read my article about indicator species in form and medtech, then please see the link below where you can see hundreds of other articles too. But better still, let's have a cup of tea and chat, either in person or virtually. You can set that up at my website too. I'd love to hear from you.